Google is not the only search engine and why Google's advertising platform is so much popular. We need to take a step back and understand the ecosystem, the dynamics behind it. So try to think what just happened right now. I went to Google. I searched for, a, for cake shops in Ranchi. There are two parties involved. I as a user, Google as the platform. There are two parties involved right now. Now when I do the search, there are a bunch of ads showing to me. And now there is a third party, which is this flower tree and uh, FNP and Bumi.in. These are the businesses. This is the third party. These are the businesses who are showing their ads on Google against my search query. So there are three parties involved right now. Google itself as the platform, user, me, you, all of us who use Google, and the third, the businesses. Now think about it. All three of us have our own selfish interest. And let me explain why and how. Why Google um, is running this platform? Why? They want to make money, right? They are not some charity or government funded uh, social service. They are a for profit business. And for them to be in business is for them to be profitable. And for them to be profitable is for them to, to make money. And who will they make money from? Not from users. Do they charge us any money for these search queries? Yet. No, they don't charge us. But they charge this money from the businesses. Okay, so Google is here to make money and they are making money out of these ads from the businesses who want to show their ads here and get some traffic from here. People searching for their products, products like they sell. So you understand the Google's motivation here and now understand the motivation of the self in, selfish interest of the businesses. Why are the businesses running ads on Google? Like why is Flower Tree and uh, FNP and Winnie.in in advertising on Google? Because they are getting interested customers out of Google and therefore they are advertising here. And these customers are buying from Flower Tree um, FNP and Winnie.in, right? And therefore, they continue running ads. Otherwise, why would they spend money? Uh, why would they put their ads on Google's platform and uh, let someone click on their ads and keep paying to Google for those clicks? So, definitely, it's working for them. That's why they are here. And it's working for Google because they are getting paid for every click. It's working for us, the users, because we are getting what we are looking for, right? So there are three parties involved and all three of have, have their our selfish interest. Now, I wouldn't come back to Google if I searched for the cake shop in Ranchi and found the bookstores in Ranchi. And I would say, what the heck, Google? What are you doing? Like, I was searching for, how can you be so stupid? <laughs> I would go search somewhere or I like call my friend in Ranchi and find out. So I come back to Google because I find what I'm looking for. These businesses come back to Google and keep showing their ads because they find people like me searching for cake shops in Ranchi or whatever shops they are, whatever products they are selling. And Google keeps running this because I am, we are going as a user on the platform and businesses are going there as a platform. Now, if businesses stopped coming to Google's platform, can Google survive? No. Like 98% of the Google's revenue is through ads. Will Google survive? Probably no. So they need to have the businesses on their platform continue advertising. But who will they advertise to? Us, the users, right? So they need to keep us happy and continue showing us the most re possible relevant results, right? So they, the Google's um, job here is to ensure that they keep the advertisers happy and they keep the users happy by showing them the most relevant results. So I have a slide here and it might make sense. So this is Google. These are the shops. 
the businesses who are running their ads on Google and this is us the people who are coming on Google and searching for it. Now there is a fourth party involved and that fourth party is why this channel exists. This channel is for that fourth party which is the advertising consultants, this one. You are trying to learn Google Ads because you want to become an advertising consultant to help businesses like Saurabh's run their ads successfully on Google to be so that they make money out of their spend on advertising and earn profits, sell more, correct? So understand this dynamics behind um, on this ecosystem, this, this platform like Google can't compromise, won't let you run irrelevant ads or ads of low quality because it wants to keep the users happy and therefore ads have to be relevant, ads have to be quality and therefore if you keep the ads relevant and you can maintain the uh, quality which is called quality score and I want to get into jargons, Google rewards you for showing quality ads. The higher quality ads, lesser you pay. Lesser quality ads, higher you pay and the cost is going, going to be so high that you won't be able to even show your ads. So there are different cost implications. But just understand that you can't game the system to an extent that you compromise on the quality. So regardless of how intelligent you become, you got to play by the rules of the ecosystem here and the rule of the ecosystem is that Google has to ensure that the users are happy and therefore you as an advertising consultant your role uh, your skill your expertise can be not to um, try and game the system because if you try and do that you wouldn't like you would spend their money, you spend their money and not get the relevant people clicking on their ads and therefore they will fail eventually. And if they fail, Google fails and if the Google fails, you don't have a search engine. If you don't have a search engine, you don't have a job, right? 